Let's say we want to look for car. I can see all of the hits on all the clips. I can filter and choose that. I'm just going to click and we can immediately see reference to picture where that word exists. Now, this is not just limited to the timeline or to a selection or to a track, but we can search everything that's contained in the session. So I'm gonna go over to files mode and let's just start typing, let's go for a search for people. And now I can with turn the preview on and it, essentially in the audition path, I can have it immediately start listening to all of the hits, all the alternates of that particular word, in this case, people. So I kind of like that one, So, but some people should just be, so let's just grab a chunk of this sentence and we can just click and drag that and take that onto the timeline and immediately see what that particular clip looks like and what the transcription looks like. So there's people, I can simply double click on that word and um, I can hear that immediately. I don't see very many other people do it. So now I'm working with the actual audio clip that I dragged out of that alternate based on the search was for people. Uh, if we open up the transcription window one more time, we can look at all the attributes, all the properties. Um, we, again, we can, you're giving it a language hint, which is really about, is this English, is it Spanish, is it Portuguese? It's gonna help it to be more accurate and to transcribe faster. We also have options for um, whether it's field recorder, whether it's a surround, whether it's a polyphile, uh, as well as the pauses in between those pieces. So really cool, really powerful. You guys are gonna dig it. Uh, so uh, thanks very much.